sometimes there were scenes where there was a prop that was like what's he doing mm, that could be a sexual innuendo those are good ones mm. dan went overboard and just zoomed in too often on the feet wow they're really soft zoomed in too often on the tongue licking things or something that just went too far was anyone able to say anything or was that like oh no no this is it's dan's baby dan was nickelodeon's golden boy and even if he and the network were at odds he had the power to push back it was very hard to say anything to him in this round here's charles big angry adams Quanell, Dan Schneider, who was the fat kid in the, uh, the sitcom Head of the Class when we were young, right, turned out to be a juggernaut of a showrunner for children's TV in Nickelodeon. And there was long whispers about inappropriate behavior, about a foot fetish, and other weird things. Then we see the, the just mental collapse of several Nickelodeon child stars. We all witnessed the the Amanda Bynes go from this all-American girl starring in movies to this kind of crazed woman with a face tattoo just trying, I think she's trying to do nails now uh, at, you know, on a public street there in LA. It's, it's heartbreaking, right? And everyone thought she was the one that went crazy. But it's become more and more apparent that there was a tidal wave of inappropriate behavior with children. Drake Bell, another child star that fell off the rails, he was accused of having an online inappropriate interaction with a juvenile as a young adult. He was ostracized, but it turns out when he was 14, 15 years old, he was the victim of repeated rapes by a male acting coach. His father, who was alarmed by it, was pushed out of his life called a, a, you know, a homophobe and all kind of horrible stuff. And it turns out that Drake Bell, Bell who was the, uh, Drake and Josh, was a tremendous victim. So this last week, Jay Lewis, who was the star of Just Jordan, had a post on Facebook that I thought was horribly insensitive to Drake as a victim and to other victims of child sex assault. Let's just forget how disgusting Hollywood is and how those scumbags like to lecture America on how we should be. But Jay Lewis, a young African-American star, he, he tweeted that his show got canceled, just Jordan, because he didn't give up that ass, right? I think it's horribly inappropriate. I don't think a victim makes the decision to give up that ass. I think a victim is victimized, raped. I think Drake Bell was raped. And instead, we should be focusing all of this on what the hell is wrong with Hollywood. And this was a horrible co uh, comment by Mr. Lewis. Charles, people have been known for a long time and been silent about the freaks in Hollywood. Hollywood has been notorious for booty bandits for generations. They've been known to sexually exploit men, women, and children. And so where is the movement in this country to hold Freakalodian accountable? You know this, well, Nickelodeon. There, there is a But movement. the movement to hold Freakalodian accountable needs to be a real one, but don't stop there. All of these movie houses, Warner Brothers, TriStar, all of them, that have been complicit and silent when this was brought to their attention should be put on trial also. The same way college coaches and college universities and presidents were charged with neglecting and ignoring the cries of women who were being sexually molested and exploited on college campuses. The same way in the Navy, where women brought out in the Navy and the armed services where their cries were being ignored and many of them were being raped. Well, many children have been raped in Hollywood. So they too, those movie houses shouldn't get away scot-free and demonize some of these actors. All of them should be held accountable. And I disagree with you on this. So you don't, you think Jay Lewis's comment was okay? Because that's what I have no problem about. with what he said. But don't you as think a, it minimizes as a black, no, let me, the let me speak. Okay. As a black man, as a black father, if Jay Lewis was my son, I would have applauded him. Because as a father, I would teach my son, don't you ever... Let any man make you bend over and give evil an opening because you want to get something of pleasure or treasure from them. God is your sustainer. God is your gift giver. And anything that God wants you to have, no man can keep from you. But whatever God don't want you to have, no man can give to you. I applaud, I, I applaud Mr. Lewis because I'm tired of hearing men 
that claim another man sexually took advantage of me because I wanted a hole in, I wanted a role in Hollywood. I'm tired of hearing men that say another man took advantage of me sexually because I wanted to become a hip hop artist or a music artist in the music industry. That's a damn lie. You chose to let another man sexually take advantage of you if you're a grown man. And, and I Ain't think, no grown I, man I, in Hollywood I, letting another man rape you. I think your him. perspective on this is, first of all, J. Lewis was not being truthful. I looked. It was ratings that canceled his show. He, it was not a terribly highly consumed show. It was, just wasn't good TV. And he's getting himself a lot of attention. We're sitting here talking about it. But you are probably intentionally, because I have to, uh, you have to assume that you know more. What you're doing is you're talking about children. Calling them men. No, I said men, not them, children. Blaming them. I said We're men, not children. We're talking about a 14-year-old kid that was raped by a 40-year-old man. And a 14-year-old male. year old male's a child has enough strength to say no. Okay. Especially when he has an so, active father. So we're he back. had an active we father are, in his life. We, we had and a father he, uh, trying and to what protect that young man did, that was he chose to listen to a freak by Hollywood. and not listen to okay. his father. Now, see, that's Why that 14 year old boy you, didn't you listen are, to his father? You because are, obviously his father spoke out against you it. You are talking about a victim, a child victim, and adult victims of rape. As if they brought their rape on themselves. Not children victims, and it, He's a 14-year-old child. I sympathize child. with children. Okay. But his father but, uh, tried but to stand okay. up for him. Okay. You and he walked away you from his father. sympathize with children. He chose not to take you his father's you help. You sympathize with children, but adults that get raped, that's so on them. So let me tell you that's something. That's on them, Cornell. You really want me to believe that a grown-ass man in Hollywood is going to let another man sodomize him <laughs> Because he wants a role I, in Hollywood? That think, ain't right. I don't think. That is an abandonment of the law of God and an abandonment of your principles. I don't think I don't it give matters. a damn who the man is. I don't is. think it matters. You ain't getting a shot it of blood from me. I don't give a damn you got It doesn't matter if it's heterosexual or homosexual rape. You're focusing too much on your bigotry and your homophobia. What do you mean heterosexual rape? What do you mean? Rape of women by men. It happens all the time. That's still rape, yes. Okay, yes. And you're but sitting ain't here, no woman raping acting, no man in Hollywood you're for acting, a role. You are act, actually that's not true. So it's women true. raping men in Hollywood. But you now. are you are demonizing oh, shoot, victims no, because brother. of race and gender. I disagree and, with that. Uh, you know, Hollywood could burn, but victims need to be protected.